in vandalism and threats nationwide. This is the worst year on record for attacks on mosques, according to the Council on American Islamic Relations. And now that group is calling for a hate crimes investigation in Fort Collins. Over the weekend, the Islamic Center there was vandalized and a Bible was thrown into the prayer area. Number 7's Mark Boyles live at the mosque and the damage was, was significant there, Mark. That's right, three to four thousand dollars in just these doors right here that were smashed in with a rock. That also has a lot of people here feeling a little bit insecure and unsafe. Therefore, they're also going to replace the security system around here. That could cost as much as 10 grand. Work on replacing the glass in these doors that were smashed will begin in the next couple of days here. This is a look at the suspect that police are looking for. We're told they don't have any suspects right now in mind and they're asking for your help. Meanwhile, several hundred people from the community gathered yesterday to support the mosque. Today, more donations and flowers are rolling in. Hopefully we see this as a sign that in the future, we don't wait till something happens. We look at, look at signs and we constantly come together. The GoFundMe page that had a $20,000 goal has already surpassed that. At last check, it was almost $24,000. That's just a little bit to show the support that this community has really uh, put behind this mosque and the people here. We're live in Fort Collins, Mark Boyle, Denver 7. Thank you, Mark. And what qualifies as a hate crime and how those crimes are documented? Well, that's all part of a discussion happening at the state capitol today. Lawmakers are looking at a bill that would require the Department of Public Safety to include all hate crimes reported by police in its annual state measurement report.